Advancing technology has made contamination a much more sophisticated problem to control. Before we get into the causes, however, we want to emphasize that contamination is as much a business issue as a technical issue. The potential costs of failing to take aggressive prevention measures against contamination are failure to obtain the maximum productivity out of equipment purchased for its superior performance, invisible declines in operating performance that occur before contamination problems are identified, which can be as high as 20%, totally unexpected operating performance problems and failures associated with brand new systems that experience contamination from sources other than wear. Extended equipment downtime, caused by both the difficulty of cleaning systems with outdated procedures and the possibility of repeat system failures caused by inadequate cleaning of contaminated systems. The potential dollar costs associated with these problems are even changing the economics of the industry. Manufacturers are now publishing oil cleanliness standards for their machinery and components. They are mandating conformance and rejecting warranty claims for contamination-related failures. These very same components are on your hydraulic machinery and equipment. Research has proven that clean oil and a clean hydraulic system are the keys to longer system life and less downtime. But what happens to clean oil when it travels through newly installed hoses and tube assemblies that have not been cleaned? The particles of contamination from the cutting, crimping, bending, and flaring process create a problem that will cause premature wear and system failure. 80% of hydraulic system failures are caused by contamination. Premature wear and system failure can be greatly reduced by the installation of clean hose and tube assemblies. To see why, we need a better understanding of what contamination is and how it damages systems.